After my last video, people were asking about my uh, grow light setup for my Venus flytraps. I've got a 2000 watt Vanderlife. It's got a, a bloom switch, it's got a, a daisy chain. Um, it's LED, so it really doesn't use that much power. When I bought the grow light, my major fact, I was looking for the power value, the, the photosynthically active radiation. That's the standard I use. I wanted to make sure that if they didn't tell the value, I wanted to know the value and then I would check reviews to make sure that, you know, when people checked them with their photometers that the value was accurate. So I wanted, uh, my, in my opinion, the power value was, a re was real important when I bought the light. And also the distance is going to affect your power value. It drops off with distance. So I keep them pretty close. Uh, so far I haven't had any burnage or anything. If I do, uh, of course I'll have to back it off. Uh, so far I think I'm getting good results this way. I've got it by a window, but I don't feel like it gets enough sunlight. So I'm supplementing it with this grow light. Uh, I run the grow light from like 8 hours. From uh, four, 8 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon, usually. But it gets some regulation from the natural sun and then course I've got the grow light for supplement. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the winter dormancy with this. I've done it now one year so you know so far I'm happy. I've heard from some people that it has worked for them just keeping it indoors. Some people say that after a few years of doing it uh, they were not happy and they wanted they tried different a different method. So I'm just going to see. I mean at first you kind of Find out what other people say and try to evaluate it. And at some point you got to venture out, try it yourself. See how it goes. So far I'm happy. I'll adjust things as I find need to.